Mexico. Sunny weather, gorgeous beaches, delicious food, evergreen, endless jungle with its ancient ruins and rich history, but also tequila, parties, tons of Instagrammers taking photos, YouTubers making videos like this one. Well, actually, not like this one, because this video is different from the rest of the content you will see here on YouTube, because I will be brutally honest with you, I will tell you my first impressions of Mexico, show you the real side of the country and tell you, does it actually live up to my personal expectations and more most importantly to all the hype it has been receiving recently on social media. Hello, hello, curious gang. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Vasi and I live in London with my boyfriend Ben and we love making videos from London but also travel related content like today's video. And if you don't want to miss out on cool content like this one, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below. Anyways, today is the 14th of January and we are traveling to Cancun, Mexico to visit Ben's sister and also his little nephew that currently live in there. Are you excited, Ben? I don't like flying for an hour. We're flying for 11 hours. And in case you wondered, we flew economy with British Airways, well, because having 1.8 subscribers doesn't really allow me to fly business class or to fly at all to be completely honest with you you got rice with extra rice <laughs> and this is literally all the food that we got for 11 hours but isn't this the saddest sandwich you have ever seen in your life Morning guys! The first morning in Cancun. I'm so jet lagged and I have a little bit of headache but when I see these views it like suddenly passes. Hi Ben! Morning. We had a quick quesadilla on the go from one of these street vendors and it was delicious. But after that we headed off to the beach where the atmosphere was kind of exactly the opposite from this experience. So since today is our first day we decided to take it a little bit slow because personally I still have a headache and I can really feel the jet lag. From London so we'll just like stay here at the beach and go to the swimming pool and tomorrow we'll start exploring a little bit more uh, I just saw one of the scariest things that I have ever seen at the seaside I don't know if you're ready but <laughs> well, don't get close to it uh. The real question is, who ate the fish? Uh, what, the what, fish. Do you, what do you think? It, yeah, but this one is already so big. Are there sharks in here? Now I'm starting to question everything. Let me save you the Google search and tell you that yes, there are sharks in Mexico, but the chances of getting attacked are actually quite slim, but also there are crocodiles. Have you ever seen a sign like that? and then we headed off for lunch at one of these hotels at the beachfront but i have to tell you it definitely feels like the type of place where you pay for the view and not so much for the food itself my first time at the beach in cancun and i can say that now i get all the hype about this place Looking at the crystal clear water, it is exactly what I expected, but some other things in Mexico weren't, but stay tuned for those. Cheers. 
look how big it is. It's from London. No, me or London. Yeah, maybe it's seven. Being used to live in a big city, when I see that something is half an hour walking distance, of course I want to walk to, to this place. And this is the case at the moment. We want to go from the shopping center to one of the local markets, which is called Mercado 23. We started walking and it's really beautiful. Like, look at all these trees and everything around. But I swear, we've been walking for 10 minutes and I haven't seen even one other pedestrian, which is a, a little bit odd for me. Five minutes later. Okay, I really take my words back because now I understand why there aren't any pedestrians. Because there isn't really where to cross. We literally just had to run from over there to here. Do you think that's normal? I mean, no, it doesn't make sense. It's like you, you just need to make, you know, like a traffic light and like you know, allow people to like walk. That that's it's not it's not you know rocket science. Okay, this might sound a little bit weird, but one of the first things that I do when I visit a new country, it is to go to the local supermarket because I feel like you can really understand a lot about the people living in a place by the food that they eat and the things that they typically buy. I don't know, do you guys do the same? Ooh. <laughs> Let's go! I want uh, no from this one of this one of this. All right, this one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So un cuerno, no, joyaldra, jamón y queso, un queso. Oh, this also looks good. It's with uh, different types of cheese, I think. Uh, okay. And what else? Are we good? Hola. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like a lot of the products that we see in here, they're actually sold in the US, like this one. Like this one. What do you have? Oh my god, they look Green so good. Green sausages. Yeah. Why? Why? Green sausages. I don't know if you can get an idea of how big it is. The weird feeling that I'm getting is that everything in here, it's kind of like American size. Look at, look how big is that. Wait, wait. Mm. Go. Mm. Now you can eat. Oh, yummy. How is it? No. What's inside? Mm, cheese and ham, ham on. Mm. And this is mine. It's very fluffy. It's like a donut, a huge donut as you can see, mm -hmm. and on top this is all sugar. So, to answer your question, does Mexico live up to the expectations? Well, for some things, yes, totally. Like the beaches are absolutely beautiful, the weather is great, at least when it doesn't rain, but for the rest, I was quite disappointed to see that at least in Cancun, it is a little bit hard to walk around the city and the infrastructure of the city itself, it is literally like an, any US city. And uh, I also find it quite hard to find authentic Mexican culture, which was a little bit disappointing. And the closer you are to the seaside, the harder it is to find it. Oh, not to forget, it can actually get a little bit pricey. 
hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one from Mexico because I still have so many stories to tell you and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any cool content.